Let's talk about the infamous Frost Behemoth comp that is dominating the leaderboards right now. I used it to get up to rank number 7 right now. I'm gonna stay there, I'm gonna sit comfortably because yesterday I was already rank 7 or 8. It's like, should I stay, should I go, should I play another one? Today I played another one, boom, two losses down to rank 15. I'm like, nah. So I had to climb back up there, now I'm at rank 7, I'm happy and I'll stay there and I want you to get there as well. So let's talk about it, let's have a look what it's all about. And there has been a few changes, at first we played Slash in on round 2, basically we're not playing Slash in anymore. Against like other comps like maybe Blaze Knight or Science and stuff like this, or sometimes you can squeeze it in very late game in the mirror matchup. But for the mirror matchup, no more slashing and also no more Seer. I didn't think the Seer would suddenly disappear, but it did. And yeah, level 1 positioning is now in the backline. Because basically we're walling off our battlefield here. And then your units should walk around the longest way to arrive to the party here later than his units. And that's the reason why we put them all the way in the back, make a wall and then make them walk the longest line. Basically, the one who wins this matchup is whose Chotun and Ranger come to the front line at the latest point. And that's what we're trying to do. Uh, this one is pretty much RNG again. It's round one and two is really coin flippy. Uh, if you don't do big positioning mistakes that we both didn't do, usually you want to have your Scarabok on the outside. And then you fill up the wall with Bulwarks right here. And that's what we're going to do. Your Apon right here is gonna come in a safe position, but also in close proximity to the main fight. So here's the main fight gonna be, all our units are gonna walk there. And then the Apon is trying to stun into the behemoths that are probably sitting somewhere over here. But your Apon shouldn't be here, because then once the behemoths are done with this target, they're gonna go onto the Apon. So you wanna kinda have him safe over here, close to the battlefield, in the second row of the front line. Alrighty, we wall off our guys here, our Chotun, our Ranger cannot go through, so they have to walk all the way around it. Let's see how he goes. And basically what he's doing is a good move, he extends the line and is the most outside unit. And this helps him because my units are more likely to attack this guy, and then his units are more likely to attack mine. And this is basically what happens there, and I'm not sure why I'm winning this, but yes, I am winning. In the end, my both of my Frost units are attacking the enemy Ranger, and that's the high priority target. In the very late game, it only matters if your Ranger stays alive. And the main tactic that you want to have is that both of your Behemoths are attacking the same target. And then slowly but surely, we win number three as well. So Legendary Augment Round is really interesting because I know and he knows that this is the best one. Sharp Stock gives you the most damage. But I also know I got a Frost Emblem in the first round of Legendary Augment Phase. So that's 20 and I now have 40 left. So I have space for another 40 cost and I know he's not gonna go for this one. He's gonna triple bat the Sharp Stock and one bat Behemoth. But I go for Behemoth, Secure Behemoth and Inevitable Ruin. And I risk him winning the late game with sharp stud. So I have to close it out now on run, round number 4. Basically what you do in round number 4 is bring in your Adorius. And I try with my Adorius to block in my behemoths even more. So I'm thinking about my augments. Maybe power ascend for the Adorius. Heal earlier, heal more. But nah, we're gonna go for Arctic Dominion. Inevitable Ruin. Both on our, our Chotun right here. And now we're gonna block in our guys with our Adorius. So now our guys really have to walk around here and they cannot go straight over there. Let's see how that turns out. RNG luck. So he's repositioning here. He leaves a gap here for his Chotun and Ranger to come in to be a little bit pro more protected. But the problem will be he almost doesn't fit him in. The problem we see is Ranger is attacking the Groko. We'll never kill the Groko, so Ranger is basically useless. And his Shoton is attacking my Earth Groko here. But my two Bulwarks are attacking the same target. So they act as one, they act as one force, and it will take forever. But they will slowly but surely be able to break through here. And as you can see, the Ranger 
on the wrong target is doing absolutely nothing. And it's it's gonna take a while. <laughs> I really thought that the Frost plus the physical resistance here would swing the fight, especially the Frost just giving me more uh, giving me more CC, more crowd control for the enemies. But in the end it didn't matter. His Ranger and Choton split up. And that's why our two carries can focus down single targets and we're able to kill more of the bulwark units which in the end helps us win the late game uh pretty good a lot of units alive it can also be that there is other rng like did the adorius get stunned out of its heal by a scarabog or stuff like this but yeah right now in this patch there's only so much you can do we did it all we rolled the dice pretty good as well and that gave my second account um, a better positioning than my opponent. So if I look now on the leaderboard, I'm sitting here comfortably on 7. I'm not gonna play until the health fix is out at least. Hopefully not this week, I just wanna keep my top 10. Uh, but in the end I wanna be going for top 3. And my second account is sitting on 19.8. Oh there you go, he played another game and won. There you go, happy end. <laughs> Still a little bit to go to the top 10. But we can all make it and I hope you can make it. I hope this video helped you learn a little bit about the game. I hope to see you in the ranked arena. Don't be too hard on me, but give it your all. Anyway, have a good one. Peace out. See you in the stream later on. And make sure to hit that link in the description down below. It's my creator link. If you hit it once a week and click around on the homepage, do some stuff on the homepage while you're there, you're going to help the channel. You're going to help me and that's... All I need to keep doing videos. So thank you very much for your support. Click that link. See you in the next one. Peace.